Thank you. The beginning of a trial for a former priest accused of rape and kidnapping is supposed to start in just a matter of days. But now we are learning the trial for Lauren Tecker could be delayed. WDSU investigative reporter Aubrey Killian was in the courtroom today. Aubrey, what needs to happen before this trial can start? Hey there, Gina. So a very big update today at criminal court. The evaluation still needs to be complete. His trial, which is set for Monday, it cannot start without it. Is good and bad in everybody. That's what former New Orleans priest Lawrence Hecker told WDSU investigates before he was arrested last year. His accuser responding through his attorney about a possible trial delay, issuing a statement that reads in part, if Hecker does not stand trial, the pedophiles and their protectors win again by running out the clock. Our client is disgusted by this ploy as are numerous victims of this monstrous pedophile. We're still awaiting an evaluation. Matthew McLaren, one of Hecker's three attorneys, was the only one in court Thursday. Why has the mental evaluation not happened yet? I think just logistically it hasn't, it just hasn't happened with the doctor's schedules. I, I'm not entirely sure. I can't comment one way or, or the other on that. When Hecker was arrested in September, we obtained this image of him climbing into a pickup truck with no help. What is the current state of Lawrence Hecker? I mean, Mr. Hecker is a 92 year old man who's in an extended care facility um, and he's struggling with some health issues. Um, mentally, he, he's, you know, in and out of being able to assist us with what's going on. Um, so as, as I stand, you know, it's difficult for me to have him assist me currently in his state. Court records show Hecker is in restraints for his own protection after pulling out his IVs. Prosecutors say Hecker is a confessed child sex abuser and rapist. WDSU investigates also obtained crucial records linked to Hecker's sex abuse allegations that date back decades. Release the documents. Release them, sir. I beg of you. Give us healing. And this week, only WDSU investigates cameras were rolling when a clergy survivor asked Archbishop Gregory Amon for transparency and to release records linked to sex abuse. Get this bankruptcy finished. My God, get it finished. And he was molesting me and he did others here. We've spoken to a lot of men who say they were abused by Hecker. Do you believe those men? I, I mean, I'm not going to comment on all of that right now. And at last check, the trial, it is still set for Monday. We have also asked the Archdiocese for comment regarding records being released. We have not heard back. Hecker has pled not guilty. Back to you.